Hello again. It's almost time for us to say goodbye to you, but not before we cross back to Kimberley. That's where Sam Marshall has been throughout the course of the show, highlighting the various advances in environmental affairs. We took a look at the weather angle, how the weather impacts on the environment. We took a look at also at the stakeholders, the corporate social investment, young people being educated in this, and other various means such as private sector involvement, government, you and I, my friend. So we're not exempt from our part. We heard as we had a little bit earlier talking to us about how we can make sure that we take care of the environment, especially in winter now where electricity consumption is quite high. He spoke to us about energy saving ways of keeping warm and snug. And also we know Paul Ziedemunare also goes at length to talk to us about closing the taps to make sure that we don't waste water. Water is also quite an important component when we look at environmental affairs. All right. So all this and more has actually been the focus of attention for Sam uh, there in Kimberley. So let's go back to him now and say hello again, Sam. Hello, Yana. Yo, let's uh, wrap this conversation up. But I've got to tell you, there's a buzz of excitement here at the uh, at the convention center. Loads of eyes, loads of people interested in what's happening and how a World Environmental Day impacts on us personally. Now, in the insert a little bit earlier, we showed you just some of the projects that was running in Takane, some of the green uh, initiatives. And right now, I'm with uh, two of the beneficiaries of those projects. It's uh, Maria Peterson and Tebojo Olihile. Uh, let me start with Maria. Maria, goeiemorgen. Goeie 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 for water and the gemeenschap in my whole land to water to spare. Uh, Tebogo, quickly talk to me about your project and what are you doing? Okay, I'm um, under the, the uh, working for water. I'm a chains operator. I've been working there for three years now and running. Yes, sir. So basically I went into the project because I was, uh, when I was at school, I basically was in the working for water Aquanjuro competition. I came out of the top four in the Northern Cape. So I was the top achiever there. So I fell in love with environmental issues. That's when I had the love for environmental sciences as well. Okay, guys, we've run out of time, but thank you very much for joining us. Just two of the beneficiaries from the various projects that's been running in this part of the country. I did tell you that yesterday, of course, officially was a, a World Environmental Day. But today we're celebrating it here in South Africa. And it's all about unpacking the benefits of the environment for you. We spoke to various experts. We even, in actual fact, spent some time in an electric car, a fully electric vehicle. And uh, we found out the benefits of how South Africa is changing the electric grid how major car makers are working on creating an electric uh, grid for hybrid and electric cars. And also, no, Ayanda, I didn't promise that I was going to buy you one at half a million rand. But that's what they're retailing for at the moment. We also spent some time with a meteorologist, um, uh, Pomelo, uh, and she kind of shed the light for us on what the South African services are doing. Not only about weather prediction, but it's a mandate to save the planet. And they've been involved in that. We also had a chat to the Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Malewa, tying us into what this day means from a global perspective. 140 countries taking part in World Environmental Day. This, in actual fact, is World Environmental Month. On Monday, we'll have World Ocean Day. So we all have our bit to play. And this year's theme, of course, seven billion dreams, one planet can consume with uh, with care okay that's where we leave it from kimberly let's go back to the studio but from us it's been a fantastic broadcast join us again tomorrow here on morning live ciao ciao